Hey guys, Nicky Lance back here for Jersey Man Magazine. Today I am in Medford, New Jersey at a beautiful place called Braddock's. Let's check it out. I'm with Pete Dickinson here. It's the street in my neighborhood where I grew up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pete, tell us a little bit about what your restaurant offers and uh, what kind of food you serve. You know, Braddock's has been here for almost 200 years and it's obviously an important part of the community, but... 200 years? Almost 200 years, yeah. Well, I, hope you're, I hope your employees aren't 200 years old. <laughs> Some you would think, but uh, for the most part, no. Uh, and we serve, you know, casual, upscale, you know, comfort food for the most part um, with a little bit of a flair. And again, we have a new chef who just started not too long ago who really kind of has taken this up a whole new level. So tell, tell me about the building. The building's incredible. It looks like somebody dropped a restaurant in an, out, an old house. Like, and, and that's pretty it, much it, what it is. It's it like is. right out of Tombstone. Exactly. That's, that's, what like. <laughs> that's what it looks like. It was a house at one point. It was a hostel. It was a hotel. It was a, it was a blacksmith shop in the back. And it's gone through fires and floods and all kinds of stuff. But the building's maintained. You know, the floors, a lot of the processes, a lot of the things you see around are all all natural from the beginning. When you come in the door, you you, you actually feel You feel like, like you get transformed. Yeah, yeah you feel amazing. like the history. You, you have like ghosts going on? Oh, you gotta be some ghosts. Yeah, we have, we have, funny <laughs> enough, there's yeah, there's a couple of spirits that kind of keep an eye on the place. Yeah. And, and you got you got somebody like, you know, serving drinks that's not on the payroll. <laughs> <laughs> so for the first time person coming here, first time coming to Braddock's, what are the, what are the three dishes you suggest they try? I would say, you know, the, su the sunchokes that we just put on the menu, which is really unique to anywhere. I've never seen them on the menu anywhere. Uh, the other thing I would say, you know, we just added a new chicken sandwich to the menu. And, you know, you say chicken sandwich and, you know, you can get a chicken sandwich anywhere. But we did this Nashville chicken sandwich where we slow marinate it in a buttermilk and hot sauce recipe that the chef put together. Wow. And I would say the other, the other item would be the short ribs. Um, the short ribs, again, we slow braise those for about 18 to 20 hours. You know, it's, it's... And it's almost three or four times a week because we go through so much of it. Slow braise that, and we put together a mole sauce, which is kind of a traditional Latin sauce. Uh, in the tavern, we have a ton of specialty drinks, special menus, um, a lot of smoked bourbons, a lot of, you know, we get cherry wood from a local guy and sassafras wood from another local guy. So it's almost like that root beer or cherry taste that infuses into the glassware. So we'll burn those up. So it's almost a little bit of a show at the bar every night as well. So you get that flame going, you get that fire and that smoke and that smell. And again, the bartenders here, all every cocktail we do is handcrafted, so it's it's pretty special. Nice. Well, can, can we get in the kitchen? We can and get start, in the kitchen now and start doing some fun stuff. <laughs> all right. Well, get, well, let's get busy. So I'm with Kai. Kai, right? Yes. Kai's the chef here at Braddox. Braddox or Braddox? Braddox. Braddox. I'm going to keep saying Braddox, but Braddox. So you got something going on called sun sun chokes. Sun chokes. I've never yeah. heard of a sun choke in my life. Okay, so I can relate to the short ribs and the chicken sandwich. Sunchokes, that's gonna be different for me. Are we done here? Uh, yeah. It's yeah. all done? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go find a place to eat this. And I'll, you know, you guys know what I think. I mean, it looks delicious. I'm going to start off with the sun chokes because it's new to me. I had no idea about it. Thank you, Kai. Thank you. And uh, let's go check this stuff out. Look at what the hell is that? Wow, is that popcorn? Yeah. And what's that? With popcorn? All right. So look what this guy just brought out to me. I just got three meals, like three dishes, but he did not bring bringing out dessert. I never seen anything like this. And what's your name? Uh, Montana. Montana. Montana? Yeah. That's this is Montana. He made this dessert. Uh, explain this. I have no idea what that would be. Okay. This dessert is um, a caramel and chocolate tart with butter popcorn, 
brown butter ice cream and a maker's bourbon caramel drizzle. Is it, this is your creation? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All, All right. That looks awesome to me. I'm going to try that also. I never saw popcorn and ice cream together, but that, hey, look, it's ice cream. Everything goes with ice cream. All right. Yeah. All right, guys, so here's my uh, sun chokes. This, I uh, forgot what they call this, this uh, short rib. Got a really good looking chicken sandwich here with the brioche bread. And this fantastic looking dessert that I would like to start with first, but I'm not. So let's go with the sun choke. Never had this before. Not many people have. I think they, he said he invented it. That's good. <clears throat> Try that again. That's damn good. I would definitely order this. Just try the short rib. Woo, just cut right through that, man. It's like just falling off, it's falling apart. Wow. Folks, this is top notch food here. I'm not kidding you. This is really, really good. Kid knows what he's doing over here. This is Nick Lanciano type food. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. It's fantastic. The dessert. dessert is fantastic folks I don't know what they call it but it's got popcorn with a, it's like a chocolate tart and with some syrup with popcorn and vanilla ice cream I think I'll make this the rest of my lunch all right guys so what do I think of Braddock's very good experience very good restaurant very good manners very good management the food was fantastic the, uh, the the three dishes that I tried were all really really good thank you again for joining us for our first video for Jersey Man magazine this is Nikki Lance out